Well, I'm sitting with Scott Weeks, owner of Recluse Cigars. We're smoking the new Lancero. Came out this year at the 2016 IPCPR. What is your overall objective when you make a cigar? What makes you happy? Pat, I was an independent manufacturer's rep for 20 years. And I represented a lot of famous brands that are still on the market today. All of those brands, when they first came into the U.S. market, they needed independent manufacturer's reps because they couldn't afford to hire in-house sales reps. And so I took all that knowledge from all those years of being on the road and visiting those different factories, and I tried to figure out a way to make what I feel is the perfect cigar for the end consumer. What we do is we take the very best manufacturing processes in the world and we try and put it in a cigar that is exceptionally priced for the end consumer. And whenever I'm traveling and I do cigar events and I meet you, the end consumer, it's one of my favorite things to do. I can sit around and I can create cigars all day long. I can design products all day long and that makes me happy. But what really makes me happy is when I go and do a cigar events and I get to speak to you out there in cigar land and we get to tell jokes and when somebody smokes one of my cigars and they, they reaffirm everything that I put into it by telling me that it's one of the best cigars that they ever smoked, that's what makes me happy because that's the satisfaction I get from doing all the labor and all the work to try and create what I feel is the absolute perfect cigar. There's one reason to box press a cigar and that's uh, you need three things for combustion. That's fuel, air, and heat. So when you take a round cigar and you box press it, what you're doing is you're compressing the airspace in the blend. And that forces the cigar to burn slower and burn cooler. Now, if you do that in conjunction with a bunch filler, the draw is still good, but it never lives up to its full potential. When you do it in conjunction with the way that we roll cigars, which is the old Cuban method of intubao, then what you get is you get a cigar that burns slower and burns cooler and has an effortless draw. Now, that works fine on cigars that are 50, 54 ring gauge, stuff like that. But when you take a cigar that's a 7 by 38, okay, and you try and compress the airspace right. in an already very complex blend, right. you can totally bug up the cigar. Right. You can make the cigar burn slower and burn cooler, but even if you're rolling into a bottle, the cigar is not going to draw. Right. Okay? So what we have to do is we have to make sure that the flavor right. is the, the, the most impressive part of the cigar. Right. We don't want to create a cigar that's going to be box pressed just for the sake of box pressing. We have right. to make sure that we're honest with the blend. Right. And if the cigar is going to work better with the blend, by having it round instead of box press, right. then we're perfectly happy from stepping away from that box press. Right. You know, that's why in one of our blends, the OTG, right. uh, our first blend, we made the 6x60 in all of our other blends in box press, but for some reason, right. on that particular blend of the OTG, we made the 6x60 in a Parejo format, which means round. So we said, you know what, to be honest to the blend, right. we're not going to do the box press because it doesn't work the yeah. best for this particular size cigar. Right. You know, so we have to we have to do each cigar based on what's the honest thing to do with the blend. Right. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about that because I know that box pressing is kind of like your calling card with your company. Everything you do is box press for the most part. Even the sidewinder, even though it's got some round features to it, it's got the box pressing on the side, and so. And that's absolutely because of functionality, right. science 101. Right. You know, uh, you have a you have a cigar. You take a round cigar and you compress that airspace. If we, if we rolled cigars in the bunch format, which is folding the filler, right. I would not do box press, right. okay? Because the draw, like I said earlier, the draw is still good, but it never lives up to its full potential. Right. What we make with Recluse Cigars is we make cigars that live up to their very fullest potential. We're the only factory in the world that ferments every leaf in our cigars for two years. Okay, now every tobacco leaf in the world has ammonia in it. You gotta get that ammonia out and you do that in fermentation. Most factories ferment for one to six months. Because we know it's the right thing to do, we ferment every leaf in our cigars for two years. Okay, and the second thing that we do is we roll every cigar that we make, no matter what it is, we roll it into bao, which is tubing the filler instead of bunching it. Now that cuts down production by 30%. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not good labor-wise, but it makes a perfect cigar. In our cigars, you really don't even need to cut them to smoke them. Mm -hmm. You know, as you know, right. and as our customers know, is any cigar that we make that's box pressed, all you have to do is squeeze the corners of it and the cap pops open like the back of a pair of long johns. Right. You know what I mean? And then you just pull the flap off mm -hmm. and you light it up and you smoke it. Right. It's cutter free. Right. 
You never have to worry about taking your cutter on an airplane when you take a box of recluse cigars with you because they're cutter proof. Right. <laughs> yeah. Business is smoking. So far, the first day of the show, we've doubled the sales that we did at the IPCPR last year in the first day. We sold $1 last year. This year, we sold $2. <laughs> <laughs>